Welcome to The Leftovers. I'm Rachel Bell. If waiting two whole weeks for a new episode of Your Last Meal is way too long, we now release shows every Thursday. The Leftovers is audio left on the cutting room floor from last week's interview. And today, you'll hear never-before-heard cuts from Geraldine de Reuter, James Beard Award-winning writer and author of the new book, If You Can't Take the Heat, Tales of Food, Feminism, and Fury. I'll let you describe your book in your own words. I really wish you hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a hard question? Like trying to describe like for bands, like what style of music we play? Yeah, we're like a little bit of everything. I would say our inspirations are Bowie and Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> if you missed last week's episode with Geraldine, she talks about her first food memory. Mine is toothpaste. Yeah, you uh, ate some toothpaste. Yep, a lot. I ate a lot. <laughs> A lot of toothpaste. And Rome-based food tour guide Katie Parla joins the show to talk about how Romans are in denial of the original carbonara recipe. Someone cooked one of the first recipes and she's using like cream and garlic and all these things and punch it instead of guanciale. Uh, Romans lost their minds. Everybody wanted to burn a car. That was last week's show. Now, The Leftovers with Geraldine de Reuter. Last week, Geraldine shared her last meal. But listener, it wasn't easy. I feel like I don't want to say one meal. I I want to tell you, I'm like, oh man, that meal I had in Oaxaca was really good. And I'm thinking about that now. I'm thinking about this tasting menu I had like in Norway 12 years ago. And I'm like, (laughs) oh, that one was really good. So I don't know. I I think that this is a, a shockingly hard question, but... There's no wrong answers, right? It is hard when people have turned it on me. I'm like, why are you asking me this? It's so difficult. Because you know, your mood changes. Maybe a gentle little speed round will be a lot easier. What would be your perfect Costco sample if you could just take any kind of frozen food that exists and just put a little old lady behind a microwave and let me come and get one when I walk by? Um, I don't have a Costco membership. It makes me very, very sad. I love uh, the miniaturization of pizza technology. Uh uh So uh, if you give me a pizza roll, if you give me pizza on a bagel so I can have pizza anytime. (laughs) Wait, are you saying like in the morning, in the evening and supper time? Oh my gosh. What a novel idea. Can I tell you when I was in, I can't remember sixth or seventh grade, this boy named Arnesti. If you're listening out there, call me. <laughs> he was in the Bagel Bites commercial. This guy, no. it was like a 90s movie. He just flipped from like regular old guy to most popular hot Italian middle schooler no. because he was in the commercial. And I actually looked it him up food recently. It is the food of our people. It is the, yes, of your yeah. people. Yes. And I looked him up and I think he's a real estate agent now. And I was like, bummer. <laughs> Wanted him to just be like riding that high. Yeah, yeah. Like a pizza commercial king. Oh my gosh. So I always think of him when I think of the song of the Bagel Bites. What is your perfect birthday cake? Oh, so I bake my all my own birthday cakes. Always have. Um, I don't like other people doing them. So my birthday is end of summer, early fall. I really like a spice cake. Oh, yeah. With rhubarb or some sort of kind of tart berry filling. Um, so if we do like a raspberry or a marionberry, it needs to have a lot of acidity. So would this be like in a the layer middle. cake? And a then layer between cake. the layers. In between the would layers. Would you make it kind of jammy or stewy or just a the raw fruit stewier okay. yeah so stewier um jammy kind of has a connotation of a lot high sugar content uh-huh. so we're talking like it has a lot of acidity so it has okay. a tart flavor to balance out the cake and then i really like a brown butter frosting um with obviously a bit of vanilla but i also like to use um some sort of alcohol like a smoky scotch okay to to bring kind of a a little bit of depth to that the flavor. Good. It's very unique. Oh. It's your own creation. Oh, I've, maybe not. I haven't I, heard I of I mean, it. I guess it is, but I, I make some variant of that every year. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I guess it is unique, even yeah. though we have it all the time. Number two. Yes. Okay. The idea of turducketing different foods. I want to make a balzanza, which is... Go on. A meatball, a giant meatball that's yes. baked into a single slice of lasagna that is set in the center of a whole pizza and then just wrapped up and then you just eat it. That is beautiful. What kind of turducken would you like to do to any combination of foods? Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. I think the center needs to be a molten lava chocolate cake because we got to bring the 90s back. Yes. Yeah. So that's really got to be the center. 
I think we need to do some sort of chocolate chip cookie around that. That's what I was thinking if you wrapped it in cookie dough. Yes. Yeah. And then what do we do around that? I'm thinking we could go total departure and go flaky, like a flaky pastry crust. That Mm. might be a little too strange. I just saw the other day, there's this trend in Paris right now where they're doing cookie dough inside croissants and baking them. We could do some sort of flaky laminated dough around it. Yeah. One of my favorite questions to ask people is, what do you eat when your husband's gone, like on a trip or you're gone? Something that he doesn't really like that much that when he's not there, you're like, oh yeah. Uh, He doesn't. I love... Oh, I love chickpeas and also chickpeas are very easy and when and he does most of the cooking. So yeah. I will do usually like roasted chickpeas and then I will get a can of artichoke hearts and I'll roast those as oh. well. And they get kind of all crackly. Uh, and then I might toss those either with some pasta or I'll do it over a salad. Ooh, that sounds good. Does he uh, not like chickpeas? He doesn't love them the way I do. I could eat chickpeas just ad nauseum for forever. Um, I also just love making soups. So I will, and he, he will eat my soups in a heartbeat, but I will do like a, just like a chickpea with veggies. Yeah. And that was Geraldine de Reuter's leftovers. If you missed last week's episode with Geraldine, just scroll back and give it a listen. The Leftovers and Your Less Meal are both products of Seattle's Cascade PBS. This episode was co-produced, mixed, and mastered by Isaac Kaplan-Wilner and created, hosted, and co-produced by me. To see a photo of me and Geraldine and my cat Poppy all reading Geraldine's new book on Instagram. Hello, Rachel Bell. I'm Rachel Bell, and this is The Leftovers. your levels. Okay, there's me. Um, Where are you? Hi, I'm right here. Oh, you were going to turn you up. What'd you have for breakfast? Uh, I had a yogurt. And because I my body is a temple, I had peanut butter filled pretzels. (laughs) I hope in the yogurt. Oh, God, no. Wow. Somebody's a chef. No, I did not. Uh, (laughs) Thank you for acknowledging me. That would have been a power move. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm always louder than everyone. Beep, beep, beep. (laughs) Surprise. Okay. Looks good. So I am going to uh, go home and try and doctor. I just kissed your microphone. See, I told you to fall in love with her. I did. did. Good job. I'm looking for things around your place to take with me now. Is that wrong? I'm casing the joint. Are you going to take my cat? I'm thinking, (laughs) well, if my husband wasn't allergic, but I'm right now I am casing the joint. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to case it too so I can tell what's missing. I'm worried that something's going to get stolen or missing and you're going to be like, oh my God. I like that you're the one who's the most worried (laughs) that you're going to steal something. (laughs) For the record, uh, when Rachel said you have to be quiet just now, she was talking to her cat. (laughs) Geraldine, you have to be quiet. I'm sure all of this will get edited out, but I'm delighted. I treat all of my guests like this. Come over because I forgot to ask you the central (laughs) question and now be quiet. Be quiet. This is my favorite thing. I love that this is happening. (laughs) I really couldn't believe I did that. And seriously, it was like, so glad that it was with you. I'm so thrilled. I can't call William Shatner back and be like, uh, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Can we do a redo? No, it's my favorite thing ever. (laughs) Again, I just, I have that effect on people. I make them forget what they were saying. I got lost in your eyes. It's true. A lot of people do. A lot of people do.